Richard Rucker, my favorite person, my best friend. I waited for this day for years. I always prayed that an amazing man of God would come my way and sweep me off my feet, if it was God's. I've read Psalm 37, 4, it says to delight yourself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. I didn't realize until we'd been together for a while that you were everything that my heart desired in a man. You're such a precious gift from God. You are strong, patient, kind, and a true reflection of our Savior. I'm confident that I've chosen the right man for me. I vow to stay true to that choice and my commitment to you. I'll be faithful to you all our days, and I won't go back on that decision. I'll be proud to be seen with you in public, whether it's meeting new people with you, shopping, or simply supporting you in your future profession as a music teacher. I'll rejoice that I get to be the one by your side. I vow to always look for the best in you and hope for the best for you. I'll work to build this life of love with you to help the, to keep the fire burning and to outwardly express the inner joy my soul finds when I'm with you so that everyone will see the love of Jesus through our joyful union of love. I also vow to not restrain my love for you. I won't hold it back for any reason. Fear, not anger, not pain, not pride, not selfishness. I won't give my heart to you in bits and pieces, holding some parts back. I'll give it to you unrestrained, no strings attached. I'll give you all of myself today and forever. I vow to draw my strength and everything else I need from our source, Christ. I'll forever seek to grow in my love for Him and to keep my will upon its knees, yielding to Him. And as I lay my life down for Christ, I'll also learn how to better lay myself down for you. Because His love is the foundation and example for ours, and I vow to keep it that way. I trust your leading as I know you follow Him. So I vow to follow you anywhere and support you in your callings as you support me in mine. I vow to submit to you and respect you as my husband and the spiritual leader of our home, and I know you'll be a great one. I highly value your joy and spontaneity, and though your spontaneity and carefree spirit is sometimes quite different than my rule-based personality, <laughs> I vow to always have fun with you. Spontaneous, crazy, silly, laugh so hard we cry, and like idiots to everyone around us kind of fun. <laughs> You're my best friend, and I vow to continue to cultivate our friendship and to value our differences. Most of all, I vow to truly love you. Even though I may not fully understand the depth of that word's meaning, love is what I want to give you for the rest of our days. I will let it encompass my actions towards you. to something when in sixth grade I had Akeem Richards ask you to go on a date with me. After I got the news that you said yes, I remember immediately running to you to confirm that it was true. You shook your head yes, and I don't know if you saw it, but I literally ran off and clicked my heels because I was so elated. However, I can see now that our eternity together could not be birthed so prematurely, as I believe that that was the last time I actually spoke to you that year because I was so horrified to ever approach you again. <laughs> now, 11 years later, my sixth grade dream comes true at last. Now, as your chosen companion for life, I make these vows to you. I vow to hold you when your world is chaos. I vow to never leave you lonely. I vow to always be your ally in conflict and never your adversary. I vow to build you up at all times and never tear you down. I vow to listen to you with the intention of understanding and not the intention of responding. I vow to protect you from all enemies, physical and spiritual. I vow to celebrate your every accomplishment. I vow to share with you all that is mine as you will now be a part of me. I vow to help carry all your burdens from the smallest inconvenience to the greatest tragedy. I vow to always remember what Jesus Christ has done for us, for it is God's love for us that makes our love the amazing gift that it is. So lastly, with that, I vow to always love you. I will love you when you're loud and when you're quiet. I will love you when you're happy and when you're sad. I will love you when you're near, and I'll love you when you're far. I vow to love you completely, never holding back for any reason. 
As Jesus surrendered his life for ours, so do I surrender my life for our love. I love you, Kirsten, now and always. By the virtue of the laws of the state of Kansas, I joyfully pronounce you husband and wife. And what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Johanna Rucker.